So the next thing we're gonna go ahead and do is install, actually get rid of these lights here, these nasty, ugly Dumbo ears. We're gonna put little flat flush, uh, actual smoke turn lights, so it actually matches the rear end smoke to integrated tail light. We got them from TST Industries. They're here right here in Central Florida. So I ordered them, I think, one day, and the very next day they were at my house. It was perfect, because they only are like 45 minutes an hour from my house. And it comes, if you get the whole three set, which is like, I think 30 bucks, you get the, uh, the lights here that are $15, you'll get these, uh, the actual switches. So that way the harness converters, it makes it a lot faster and easier and you're gonna need a relay. Otherwise, uh, the actual uh, LEDs will not flash or they'll just constantly stay on. So you want them to flash, so you're gonna need the relay to actually uh, change up the setting of it. So that's what we're gonna do. We'll go ahead and do, we're gonna take off the front end of it, go on from there, unplug the last ones, plug the new ones in and go from there. So here we go, let's go have some fun. I really just wanna clean up as much as I can today. I know it's getting a little bit dark here, but it's at least getting a little bit cooler here in Florida because it's been 90 something degrees all day. Let's go ahead, let's tear it out down. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and use an Allen wrench right here. I think it's four and a half is what I think it actually is. We're just gonna go around all four sides, loosen it up, and then we're gonna go ahead and just lift it down from there, and then we'll be able to access the inside. So here we go, we'll just go ahead and lighten up. There's one, two, three, four bolts on it. Super simple. We're gonna lift off from there and start working from there. So I'll see you in a second. All right, well, I wanna go ahead and show you exactly what you have to do. Once you pull off all four sides, all you're gonna do is loosen up a little bit on each side like this, and then down below, then you're gonna have to unhook the two connectings uh, right here. So you have one down here you have to unhook, and then one right here, and that way everything is loose. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to go ahead and take the actual uh, turn signals off. So you can see the little screws here and here, and then it's just gonna slide right back off. So we can go ahead and install the rest. What you will see here is the original uh, lights thing. We're gonna have to use the actual uh, relay. We're gonna have to put the new one in here so to actually make it work with the actual LED signals we're replacing. So let's go ahead. We're just gonna unscrew the suckers take these off and then start wiring the new ones, put them on, screw it down tight, and then just reconnect them. I mean, this is literally a five minute job for you guys and well worth the 15 or $30 for all the pieces right here for to get a nice integrated light to these nasty uh, Dumbo ears. So here we go, show you in a second. Real quick guys, one step I forgot to show you to get the actual plastic off. You're gonna have to take a screw off here, right in the bottom. There's a little screw right here. There's also a little push pin type uh, plastic screw right here where you just push it through. Can you see it guys? So you're just gonna push it through to get it off, and then all you're gonna do, you can see the plastic tab is right here, and you will actually, you see how it grooves in the line? You'll just do it like this, twist, and it pops right off, and that's it. And so I apologize I didn't get to show you that part. That will give you full access to be able to take this inside screw off with ease, and then you just uh, take it where this or uh, blue is off right here, with a little, uh, where is it at, a screwdriver right here, pops it off, and then disconnects it, that's all you have to do. So I apologize I didn't get to show you that part, but I forgot and I was like, oh, better show it to him real quick. So here we go, let me go ahead and take this side off now, and then we're just gonna reconnect it all. Done, okay, simple, guys, simple It's getting stuff. a little dark, I realize that. I've already put it back together, as you can see, everything's good. Now we gotta do the wiring side of it. So I took the original old one off of here. What you need to do is you need to salvage two pieces off the actual uh, flasher here, the relay. You'll need to salvage the actual rubber clip that holds it on here. So you just kinda pull it off the old one, and I'm just gonna go ahead and pull off the actual cover here. So that way you can reuse it on your brand new relay that works for the LEDs. So that's all we're gonna be doing it, slide it right back on the clip here and then cover it here, plugging it in here. And then we just gotta use the adapters now to plug into here, tie it back on and we are done. This is literally a 10 minute thing. I was talking to the neighbors for like 20 minutes. Otherwise I would've been done a long time ago. So let me go ahead, wrap it up and I'll show you every the final steps and we'll be done. Okay, as you can see, everything has been done. It's all been put back together. It's really simple plug and play stuff easily. You, if you should have any problems, please feel free to ask. I'll help you out the best you can. Before you put the headlight back on the actual bike, do a test. Make sure they light up, the turn signals light up, and make sure your headlight lights up again. You don't want to accidentally screw it up, but honestly, there really is no way you could screw it up. They're literally the bullet plugs do this and go into the harness, and the harness plugs right back into the stock harness. It's just that easy, and you do it to both sides. Tuck the wires back in again, put all your four bolts on, and that's it, it's just that simple. So let's go ahead and do a test out here. Well, all right, first we'll go ahead and do the turn signals. Left turn signal works just fine. Right turn signal works just fine. We know that, let's go ahead and turn the bike on, just go ahead and test the headlight. Works perfect, guys. Oh, it's so quiet, I'm not used to a bike that's this quiet. Test it again, left turn signal works and right turn signal works. So everything works out great. It looks a million times better. No complaints whatsoever. And there we go.
Good to go. So guys, I hope you really like this. this is TST Industries integrated taillight or integrated lights. You get the three to two harness as well as you will need the relay in order to make the LEDs flash. So it's a total of like $30 once you get them all together. But other than that, an awesome thing, I'll send you the link. I'll put the link to TST's website. You can go right to there if you're interested in buying it. Well worth 30 bucks. Like I said, if it wasn't for taking talking to the neighbors for 20 something minutes, I would have been done in about 10 or 15 minutes max. So there you go. I hope you all really like it. If you did, you know what to do. I'll see you guys on the next part of the build series. We've got mirrors to do, uh, levers to do, install the air box, uh, the new kind of mirror intake, as well as the new Two Brothers exhaust is still on the way here. So, all right, time to go.